Good morning, YouTube. Had a box show up here from Newark Electronics, Element 14. Let's take a look at what's in here. Let's see, this was the main item I was looking for. Yeah, so this is from Cliff Electronic Components. And I imagine viewers of uh, BigClive.com's channel will recognize this. This is a Cliff Quick Test. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. And what you do is you run your power cord in there, and then these are little quick connect terminals that you can just slide bare stripped wires into and hook up your device under test. It's got a little neon indicator to show that the power is on. It has a 13 amp fuse inside and then these two contacts here when you close the lid make contact from the plug in the back side out to the front side and keeps everything safe. Okay YouTube, we got my Cliff Quick Test here and so this is the non-country specific version so it's got no power plug supplied and I pulled out the four screws and that's what it looks like inside. You've got your neutral line and earth or ground connection there in the middle and I need to hook up a wire to that. Let me uh, show you what I'm going to do. I just happen to have a whole bunch of these laying around. Old computer electronics cords. And if I take one of those, cut off the end, strip it, and I can use that as a power plug for this. So let me get those wires inserted in here. Okay, there we go. Got the cable stuffed in there. Works best if you get all the three ends in and then shove the cable into the strain relief since it's pretty tight to squeeze in there. So let me get the cover and screws back on and then we'll plug it in and see if it works. Okay, got it back together. Let's plug this in and see what it looks like. And there we go. We've got the uh, neon indicator lighting up. You can see that. That shows that there's power at the uh, input of the unit and then as soon as you close the cover power is applied to the output connections there. Let's see if this actually works here. So here I've got my little PZEM061 AC panel meter. So I did a review on this earlier. So I've got this one wired up. Pretty simple to hook up. The top two terminals here are your current transformers. That's the red and the black. And then I just hooked up a black and white line and neutral connection. I should be able to plug one in there and one in there. Then I've got my line and neutral. There's no earth or ground connection here. And we'll plug it in. Yep, oh, I'm upside down. Okay, so there we go. So we've got, even though I've not hooked up anything to the current transformer, there is a residual reading there, so 10 milliamps. And I guess that must be kind of the bottom threshold on the power reading. So it's jumping between 0 and 4 tenths of a watt. One thing I wanted to do here is I want to run one of these wires through the current transformer and just see if, if any of that current shows up here. So what I can do is I'll pop that open. You can see the power was cut, so this is now safe to work on. So let me take the load or line connection here, and I've now run this wire through the current transformer. So that should now be measuring the current that this meter is using. I don't know how much it takes. It's probably pretty minimal. So that shows you how much power this meter is using. So it's using maybe 7 tenths because this, this was jumping between 0 and 4 tenths with no load. Now it's 9 tenths, so we could call that 7 tenths of a watt. And you can see the current jumped from 10 to 50 milliamps. So this meter is using about 40 milliamps. And that kind of makes sense because you've got a capacitive dropper in there, so it's probably not a very high power factor. 
because you can see if you took 120 times say 40 milliamps would be about 5 volt amps and only 0.7 watts so that shows it's a really low power factor because you've got that capacitive dropper power supply in there but okay so that shows you how to wire up one of these uh, quick tests and I'll put a link to the Newark page in the video description so yeah that looks like a pretty nice little unit I'll put a link to uh, BigClive.com's video review of one of these. He, he uses his a lot, and I've been impressed with how easy it is to work with. So anyway, that will wrap up my little look at this Cliff Quick Test. I hope to be using this quite a bit in the future. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel for updates. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.